You're the one, yes. Not like the scabs that exited the shuttle with you. You radiate power, Lord, I bow before you. I serve Lord Barris. He sent me to meet his new apprentice, and I made sure I was here on time. I certainly did, yes, indeed. So, I'm met. Now what? I hope you don't expect a reward. Serving and being allowed to live is reward enough. I'm just a slave who owes his every breath to the tolerance of Lord Barris. He said to introduce you to Drome and Cass, and I take that seriously. Get on with it. I don't have all day. Right away. You don't have to tell me twice. You have a strong survival instinct. Thank you, kind Lord. I am seldom referred to as strong. Lord Barris ordered me to encourage you to explore Cass City before reporting to him. Imperials maintain the order, but they won't bother you. When you're ready, Lord Barris will meet you in his personal chambers. You, uh, you will tell Lord Barris I was good, yes? That I served well? You did exactly what you were told. You have my thanks, gentle juggernaut. I bow my head until you depart. Wow, what a weasel. Drummond Cass needs some pest control. We're moving on. Keep up. He knows a lie when he hears one. A lie? But I, I thought I performed the task with complete commitment. Is that not so, Lord? You dare question me. What did I do? No! Wow. Didn't take you long to start the Drome and Cast death toll. Do you want to be the next addition? Uh, I think I'll pass. Not a minute too soon. Your timing is impeccable. Did it just get considerably colder? I see you decided to keep the slave. I hope she amuses you. I trust you've been acquainting yourself with your new environs? Did my minion point you in the right direction? He's a dutiful servant who lives to serve you. A properly beaten down slave is the only trustworthy creature in the galaxy. I understand you killed my welcoming committee. It had to be done. He taxed me. Killing him has not angered me. With such a disagreeable weapon at my side, many will think twice before crossing me. Your responsibilities will mandate contact with my various minions, meet my directives, and you may do as you will to anyone you encounter, adversary or ally. You can trust that I'll use good judgment, Master. Sounds liberating. The ability to kill anyone I want. A lightsaber can only achieve so much, Apprentice. The most powerful weapon in a Sith Master's arsenal is information. I have painstakingly built a vast network of spies and operatives embedded throughout the Sith, Republic, and Jedi alike. I have fingers, eyes, and ears everywhere. Which am I to be? A finger, eye, or ear? Tell me, why don't you trust your own allies? A Sith has many rivals who seek to destroy him. We are an opportunistic culture. We rise by dismantling those around, and especially above us. You're my enforcer, deployed to protect my interests, intimidate my rivals, and destroy my enemies. It's time for your tenure to begin. A military starship is touching down at the Car City cargo port, delivering a vitally important prisoner to me. You will meet Commander Lanklin at Docking Bay 12 and make sure he and his men successfully offload this prisoner. I would be more than proud to help. This is beneath my talents. Commander Lanklin can't handle it himself. Lanklin is competent, but that is moot. We must always assume that we are being plotted against, especially when the stakes are high. The importance of this prisoner cannot be overstated. Go to the cargo port now and stay sharp. You are dismissed. All right, man, let's hurry up and get this hunk of carbonite to its owner. Hey, Captain Olivius. 
Boo. Oh, I, I didn't see you enter. Lord Barris didn't need to send a welcoming party. You're lucky I'm not an enemy, or you'd all be dead. Forgive me, my lord, but this is the capital world of the Empire. I'm here to make sure you do your job. I hardly think that's necessary. My men and I have performed much more dangerous duties for Lord Barris. The prisoner is frozen in carbonite, so it's not a flight risk. And this is friendly territory. Surely we're safe here. There is no such thing as friendly territory. No offense, my lord. That brand of paranoia may work for Lord Barris, but I don't subscribe to it. When you're on assignment for us, you do. Sith interests are complicated. Yes, my lord. Whatever you say. Let's get this oversized block of ice to your master. Not so fast. My master ordered that block of ice. So step away from the carbonite man and no one ends up in a grave. Master is going to be disappointed. Perhaps I didn't make myself plainly clear. I'm here to relieve you of your burden. Whether that includes your own lives as well is up to you. Looky, looky, the Fenate Slastak. Your master be wanting the froze man too, huh? Too bad for you, it mine. Too bad for both of you. Ah, quite the popular trophy. The competition should be fierce. If you not flee, you about to learn fierce, Slestak. I think introductions are in order. Fine. I am Slestak, and this ignoramus is Tumar. My master and the slime Tumar takes orders from don't exactly like each other. My slime crush your master with Pinky! I'm such a fool. I'll never doubt Lord Barris again. What do we do? These gents look reasonable. We'll reason with them. Tumar and his mates can't even spell reasonable. All me gonna be able to spell is kill. K Y Y Y L. Did you come here to chat or fight? We kill them all. I know you're Sith, stranger, but I think your bravado is ill advised. Me got idea, Slestak. How about we play Wishbone with the talker? Bigger half, get the spoils! A truce, then. You stood a chance against one set of us Sith. But even a master force user can't beat these odds. I'm going to kill you and eat you all raw. Eat me? Me here, right? This Sith say he eat me! Yes, I heard that as well. Do you really mean to eat us if you kill us? And then pick my teeth with your bones. I don't know about my brutish counterpart, but my men and I yield. I don't get paid enough to fight a monster. I take my leave of you, Sith. We not want to be breakfast either. We leave, boys. A wise choice, both of you. It's a day of first, then. A merciful Sith and Tumar being called wise. Oh, that true. What it mean, wise? I'll explain it to you later, brute. Well done. I can't believe they bought a bluff like that. They really thought you'd eat them. Violence is not always the answer. Well, you're much more versatile than the average Sith, my lord. My men and I had better be getting this cargo to Darth Barris. Thanks for your help. Time to roll the dice, then. Attack! Time for killing, boys! I see more ambushers on the way. Maybe you can hold them off while my men and I make a run for it and deliver the prisoner to Lord Barris. Leave the fighting for real fighters. Come on, men! Double time! Lanklin informed me of the ambush at the cargo port. Apparently there are more eyes on us than even I thought. I have felt a disturbance in the force. It leaves doom imprinted on my dreams. A grave and mysterious threat that could bring down my entire power base. 
this frozen man is a top Republic agent captured while investigating my most deeply embedded spy, Amna Shadar, one of my invisibles. The Force grants me a vision of doom, and immediately my untraceable spy, who has left no footprints, no trail, is almost exposed. It makes me furious. Maybe your spy wasn't so invisible after all. Do not presume to tell me my business. There's no profit in it. Instead of whining, do something about it? Oh, I'll do something about it. One of the things that I do best, torture. <laughs>